Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new GIMP tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be making some cool banners in GIMP. So we want to go to File, New. We want to create a new document. It can be any size because um, it's preferably up to you. We're going to fill it in with white background if you don't already have that. And we're going to make a new layer. We're then going to get our rectangle select tool and we're going to create a a rectangle in the middle of our square. But but, but before we continue, for, sorry for the stutter, um, we're going to make sure you have three blues here. One light, one medium, and one dark. I'm going to select my light blue for my foreground colour, my medium blue for my background colour. And I'm simply going to make a big Um, rectangle, fill it in, deselect that by going to edit, sorry, select none, or command or control shift A if you're on a Windows or a Macintosh or a Linux box. Um, the next step in the tutorial is to make another new layer and we're going to drag this down. We're then going to grab our rectangle select tool and we're also going to make another box like so. We're going to fill this one in with that blue, with your medium blue. Again, select none that. We're then going to duplicate this layer by dragging your layer onto the little duplicate button like that and we're going to hit M for our move tool. We're then going to hit and hit control as you move it to get the move it just a bit over. It doesn't have to be perfectly in line but it can be as, as in line as you'd like. Next step is we're going to merge these two down. By right clicking and click merge down we've got this effect. We're then going to create our little join here. The first step into creating this join is creating a new layer. We're then going to draw a we're going to zoom in and pan over here. We're going to hit, we're going to create a path using our pen tool, like so. Hitting control command to confirm the select, um, to join the selection, then we're going to hit selection from path. We're then going to select our dark blue here and we're going to fill it in. Now, of course, you're going to be more refined than me, but for tutorial's sake, I'm just going to do it nice and simple. Again, selection from path, and we're going to fill it in. And let's zoom out. There we have a very simple banner. Of course, you can edit your banner to how you like. You could have made these rectangles smaller here. And you could have, you can add some cool zigzag effects on your banner. If I just going along like that. and confirming the selection and then you could have clicked selection from path and we're just going to move our selection sorry not like that and then you just hit command or control x and deselect and then you can erase that line but i'm going to keep ours um extremely simple like this and if you want to add some text, I'm just using, I'll just type in banner, using courier, everyone has courier. Um, there we go. And you can go ahead and add your nice background, which I'll do right now. I'm just setting a nice radial gradient. 
me just reverse it. And there we go, we have a very simple, nice, clean banner in GIMP. Of course, you can see this line here. We can go ahead and just get the eraser tool and just erase that down, etc. So we've got a nice, clean banner. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I'll catch you in my next great GIMP tutorial.